these styles. I don't know why I always throw my hands up. It's just like this thing that I do that's like, ha, oh, ta-da! Anyways, today we are going to be talking about just really getting real with ourselves. It's been a while since we've done hashtag Monday motivation and more than anything, I need to make this video for myself. I've had a come to Jesus meeting with myself and I think that it's about time that I get real and vulnerable with myself and I feel like when I upload um, things to the world. It just kind of help helps me be more accountable Also, you guys can maybe hopefully find some answers some comfort and some inspiration in something that I've also been struggling with So I hope the title isn't going to just send the trolls off into a frenzy and people are going to say clickbait You're sending out a bad message and vibe for the young kids who look up to you and as much as maybe it may seem that way I really want you guys to hear me all the way through and hear what I have to say and you might actually be really surprised. So the title is, Am I Healthy? Am I Fat? Or Overweight? And truth be told, there's so many scientific ways of looking at the anatomy of our body and the way that it's built. We have our age, our genetics, our height, our weight, um, our ethnicity, and so many factors that play into our overall general health and how we measure up onto the charts that, that the doctors give us when we go to the doctor's office. I can't tell you how many times I've gone in and according to those charts, there's been times where I've been super healthy, very active eating right, where my BMI, my body mass index, or where I measure up on their chart has said that I'm severely underweight and malnourished or that I'm overweight within a month of seeing the same doctor. And so just to um, really combat those ideas, I really want you guys to start learning to listen to your body, your inner body, your inner self. And I think that the more vulnerable and the more honest we become with ourselves about this topic, the more uncomfortable it is. And sometimes that's striking a nerve and that's forcing us to see the truth for what it is. So I don't um, want to have, I don't want this video to, video to feel like it's a poor me, like give me, oh Carly, you're great, you're doing fine, you look wonderful. Because honestly, through the many struggles and the ups and downs of I've gone through um, with physical health and fitness, it has become so aware to me how much that industry is so saturated in the outer appearance being our most important value when it comes to health. And as much as sometimes that can be a great gauge and a great pointing, um, direction for us, a great compass to point us in the right direction, um, that can quickly become something that becomes very unhealthy very quickly. And I only say that because I'm not an expert at it, but because I've been there and I feel you. Um, there's been times in my life where I was working out to punish myself. I felt like I wasn't um, working hard enough or sweating enough or burning off all those calories that I had. And I remember feeling like nothing was ever good enough. No amount of time spent at the gym, no amount of miles, no amount of sweat, no matter um, calories I cut back or withheld, it was just never good enough. And so I think this video, there are so many spectrums that it could cover. Those who overeat, those who undereat, those who punish themselves with working out, those who don't work out at all because they're afraid. There's really a million different ways we can help and relate um, for some of you watching. Um, for me, lately it's been the obvious that I just have not been wanting to work out. I just have it. Um, I don't know what it is. I feel like I have gone through these funks in life and so I'll change up my workout routine to keep it interesting and fresh and to keep me occupied and entertained. But then uh, I'll go, I'll get back on track and I'll stay healthy. But lately it has been like seriously pulling teeth with me and I don't know what that is. I know that working out for me is something that I need and I crave and that makes me be my best self. Um, it's a great way to get out of your own mind and thoughts and work through those struggles. And I just honestly feel like nothing is better than burning um, going through a great sweat and so I really felt like it's played a part on my personality and just kind of my my aurora my not aurora that's prince sleeping beauty but like my um my light and my personality i feel like i've been down it's been a struggle to get out of bed um i don't want to eat healthy i've been definitely like just 
piling in the food and over the motions and thinking like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. When it comes Monday, I'm gonna lose weight. When it comes Monday, I'm gonna be healthy. And um, just finally, after months and months and months of doing that and going to the gym once or twice or three or four times a week and then falling off for three or four weeks, I finally am at that place where I feel so uncomfortable with who I've become and let myself become that it's like, okay, it's time to do something, Carly. And I don't want it to be extreme. I don't want it to be over the top. I just want to make a healthier relationship relationship with myself and with my body. Um, it's at that point where when I sit down, I can feel my stomach folds going over my belt or my, you know, your jeans, and you have to like suck in and pull it up and tuck it underneath, and it like is still pinching, or I'm just super uncomfortable on camera when we film the mom's room, I'm always like fidgeting and trying to cover up my body. And it's even starting to affect, um, I feel like my relationship with Jackson, I feel like it's harder for me to let him love me because I feel uncomfortable on the inside actually more than the outside. Um, the outside I felt okay. I'm like, yeah, I've lost a lot of muscle and maybe I've gained some weight since our wedding, but nothing, you know, super extreme. It's not like I like grew 55 fat rolls from my side overnight and it was like, whoa, I gotta do something about that. Um, but I just feel it on the inside. And I think that that's a great, like w coming from somebody like me, it sounds like, or it may stereotypical look like, all I care about is the way I look on the outside. But truly and honestly, it is so much more for me. I love feeling good and healthy and strong on the inside. And lately, that hasn't been happening. Um, we've been going through some medical ups and downs with this trying to conceive journey with having a baby. Um, I planned on running a marathon that was like set and goal that had signed up, paid the money, was gonna run in September, and then something really um, tragic happened in June and it just really threw me for a spin. Um, and we'll talk about that in the future on What's Up Woods. I kinda want that to be something that Jackson and I tell you guys. But ever since then, my body hasn't bounced back and I've just felt like a slug. Like I just don't know why I'm letting myself become this person that I don't want to be. And let me get this just out there. Like I'm not that girl that counts my calories crazy. I only eat celery and chicken and rice. Like I like to live, but more than anything, I like to move my body and then keep things in balance. And for me, that's how I stay healthy. So making these videos makes me really weary because a lot of times if people see that I post a picture of a donut or a soda or whatever, it's like, oh Carly, you said you're gonna be healthy. And that's true, but I'm also a firm believer of everything in moderation. And lately it hasn't been moderate. It's been like a complete flip of the scale. So I'm making this video because I want anybody out there who feels like they're not worth it, that they just can't do anything about the way they're feeling about themselves, or they feel like they're too far off to get back on the train, I'm here to tell you that it's not impossible and that together we can do something about it. I'm not selling you anything. I'm not trying to convince you that you need to go out there and get a six pack. That's not what this is about at all. Um, I'm wanting to just really dig deeper inside of our souls and ourselves and give our lives the best possible life and opportunity that we can have. And that truly is being healthy from the inside out, starting with our heart, the way that we treat people, the way that we treat ourselves and talk to ourselves, and then how we're nourishing our body inside and out. And that comes with drinking water, sleeping well, taking our vitamins, eating healthy in moderation, having treats or snacks or whatever, but then also moving our body. I can't express that enough to you guys. Moving your body will do wonders for you, even if it's walking. Um, this morning, Coopy, Coop, Coopy, Coopy, Coop and I did this 30 minute workout and it was embarrassing that literally six minutes into it, I was coughing, I could feel blood in the back of my throat. I couldn't even do all of the moves full out. And I looked at Cooper and he's like, come on, mom, we can do this. And I was like, you know what? I'm 29 years old. I cannot get to this place in my life where I've become so sedentary and so unhealthy that I can't even encourage my eight-year-old and keep up with him. Um, I'm really trying to show Cooper how to be healthy in all aspects and that it's not about the physical and that we should move our bodies and appreciate them for what we have. And it really just like was such an eye opener. I was like, I have to make this video. As hard as this is for me to admit, I have to be real with myself and help. hopefully I can help you guys be real with yourselves. You know, every day drinking soda, going through drive-throughs, candy, and just thinking like it's a cheat day, like I'll wait. 
It's not good for you. It's not gonna help you get to your best self. And I don't wanna be one of those annoying people that's like, oh, you never eat french fries, you never wake up craving bad foods, because I am that person, you guys. I'm not that girl that wakes up and it's like, I only want egg whites and my protein shake. Like, that's, that's not me, I've never been that way, but I have learned to teach my body healthier habits that have made it easier to become that person. And then you feel the benefit of eating healthier and eating clean, and you realize that it is better for you and that it is okay to feel the indulgence and the temptations, but also you see the benefits of what really being healthy can do for you. And when I say really being healthy, I'm talking about, like I said, moving your body the best way that's for you, keeping your diet balanced, really taking in the more good than the bad, and then also just talking to yourself kindly and having a real relationship with yourself. If you are 100 pounds overweight, if you are 20 pounds overweight, if you are 15 or 10 pounds overweight, it doesn't matter. What matters is you realize that you deserve better and that your body can be healthier, and that's why we're in this together. So a long time ago, I started a fitness Instagram page. Um, I'm gonna leave that down in the description box below. If you guys wanna follow me, I'm going to be being really open and honest with you about everything I'm gonna go through and how I'm gonna treat my body. Um, I know that a lot of my audience that's watching is a lot younger and I don't wanna send out the message that you need to be obsessed with your body. All you should care about is the way you look. You should count your calories and cut your food. That's not at all what this is about. What this about is about is learning how to be healthy to your body. Eating more, but eating healthier. Fueling your body with the right foods that's gonna help you in school, that's gonna help you endure your sports, that's gonna help your brain stay awake for those tests and propel you for, propel you for your future and the goals that you want to achieve. So um, if you have any pictures of any motivational girls or bikinis or whatever it is for you that works, I want you to try something new and I'm gonna try this my, for, uh, for myself. Stop looking at them. Stop using them as a comparison because that is not you. And while that might be motivating for you and that might get you out of bed, you are always going to be comparing yourself to something that you're not and somebody that you will never be. Even if you lose the weight and get the abs and the perfect butt, there's no such thing. That person in that picture doesn't even like themselves perfectly. Nobody does. I just spit because I got so passionate. What I'm saying is I do think that that mentally does something to ourselves when we use things or um, other people to gravitate to what we could be rather than like writing self-affirming things on our mirror. Why do I deserve being my best self? Why should I work out? Why should I eat these carrots and celery and apple and this instead of these french fries? You know, you have to learn that really this life, why we're here is to become our ultimate best selves. And again, that doesn't mean getting a cut six pack. That doesn't mean getting a double bicep or losing 25 pounds and fitting in a size zero because you know what? Healthy isn't any point in life where we reach. It's a continuous relationship that we have with ourselves. So I don't wanna send out the wrong message. I'm really trying to push to myself and to you guys that it's a journey and it should take our entire lives to get there and it's not something that we can crash do in six weeks or a month or four days or tea talks or detox or whatever. While those, those little things maybe can be notches on our belt to help us get through the journey, I just want you guys to know that I'm going to be doing my best to be vulnerable with you, telling you the things I've gone through um, on my fitness Instagram, like I told you, checking back in on these Motivational Monday videos. But for some reason, I just had this feeling that I should make this video, that I should be vulnerable with myself, I should be honest with myself, and I should try harder to be a little bit better. And I hope that that inspires you guys to treat yourselves a little bit better and to do a little more um, for your health, overall health. Um, today and tomorrow and starting on that journey. I wish you the best of luck. I'm here with you along the way. You can always tweet me, um, leave comments down below. You can talk with me, follow me on my fitness page and we can do this together. We can start these healthier relationships with ourselves. And like I said, everything in moderation because you know what, we might do a, a video where we're cooking cake in the kitchen together. But guess what? We have to learn to see things as balance and moderation because that's also about being healthy and nobody is going to go through life without wanting to eat cake.
let's be honest. So I love you guys. That was a long rant. I hope you got something from it. Leave something down in the comments below that you loved that I hit on that just really related to you because I know that I'm not feeling this crazy way for a reason. I know there's something out in the universe telling me that I need to tell you guys this. I need to tell myself this. We need to take it in and love ourselves. And I am so grateful you guys watch and hang out there with me and in there with me and all the things. My words are everywhere. So anyways, I love you guys. Let's do this motivational Monday. Yeah.